Guys, today we're going to go over our work on Seesaw. And I wanted to highlight some video responses that I've had from friends who are turning in their science work. You guys have done a really good job and I have a second grader and a third grader who did an amazing job in their videos explaining their knowledge and the science content. Today, you are going to be looking at storm still. And today you're going to, you went from looking at how clouds evaporate to how clouds are formed and now you're going to start looking at storms and how some places in climate are always hot and some places do get a lot of storms so you're going to focus on that today in your link when you click your link it's going to take you to the mystery science video and when you return from mystery science you're going to click add response and i have the mystery science work already posted for you where you follow what Mystery Doug tells you step by step. And you make sure you complete the sheets here. And then you record yourself explaining what you're doing. So I wanted to show some recording some friends have done for previous lessons. So you can start thinking of what you are going to record when you say your video. So I wanted to share Jacob and Azalea's, but first, do I have permission, Jacob, from you and from you, Azalea, to share your videos? Thank you guys for letting me share. I'm going to start with Azalea. And she did a great explanation on how, where do clouds come from? This is both for Jacob and Azalea. So let's start with Azalea. Clouds are not fluffy. They're made of tiny drops of water, just like steam, which is a liquid gas. Water is clear, but when all the tiny drops of water are together, it is white. Examples are waterfalls, waves, and liquid gas. Wow! I can see that she really paid attention to that lesson. Because what did she have? First of all, who can tell me? What, what was she holding that she was reading? What was she holding? Jacob, can you unmute yourself and tell me? She was holding a paper and she took notes. Thank you, Jacob. Yes, yeah, she was holding a paper where she took notes. And remember, Miss Aloria always tells you, make sure you take notes. So when you're reading your video, when you're reading in your video, you look really really like a scientist and you show that you really know what's going on. All right, our next video is from Jacob and we're going to see how Jacob explained his thinking of where do clouds come from. Here we go. Here's what I discovered. That water, the, the, the water is actually fog. But you see those droplets of water, they're too big to become fog. But you know the ocean, how how clouds are made is because of little tiny droplets of water, so tiny, and that and how they stay up is in the air currents. Air currents keep them up, and also the wind and air keep the droplets up, and that's what forms clouds. But in this water. The tiny, there's tiny droplets. You can feel it then around the cup, and that's how you know what. And it's wet, but and those are tiny droplets of water. They can also get put into big droplets of water, like this. Tiny droplets make big ones, but droplets of water can also make fog which also can make clouds. And these clouds are big and the water from the sea, the, the fog, it rises, the, the, the um, water, it rises up tiny pieces, but they're invisible so you can't see them and they go all the way up and to form clouds. Thank you, Jacob. A really good explanation. 
it. Um, oops, Jacob's going off again. A really good explanation of how our water evaporates up into our atmosphere and becomes clouds. And sometimes fog, right? That's also water do droplets that are within our eye reach, within our ground level reach. Very good explanation. So today, when you submit your assignment, you're going to do the same type of work. You're going to click on the mystery science, complete your assignment, and then submit your video. And I want you to make sure that you're taking notes so when you make your video, it looks nice and like a scientist is explaining to us what is going on. All right, guys, I really appreciate your work and I hope that I get to see a lot more scientists talking today. Good job.